What's up guys, Goro here and welcome back to another 6pm content video where today we are back, it is Tuesday, with me having no idea what to expect for content in all honesty. We're going to hop straight into things to check out what we get. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video a like, rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And with that being said, let's go see what we get today. And so here we go, hopefully it is going to be a semi-successful day on uh, content. As I say, I don't really know what to expect because, yeah, being real, it's a Tuesday in the middle of a decent but nothing too special promo. So, yeah, it probably isn't going to be incredible content, but we'll see what we get. Um, in terms of objectives, nothing new so far, which is fine. I kind of didn't really expect it in all honesty. Milestones, there is nothing new there either. So, pretty quiet day on the objective front. In terms of the Evos, by the way, uh, I went 11-7 and seven with this team. Honestly, incredible. Absolutely love this team in Weekend League. Fernando Torres might be one of the best strikers I have used. Saliba at the back, I absolutely loved him. Kimmich was really fun. Alfonso Davies was really good as well. So, the four new cards that I was sort of trying them out, really enjoyed them. Donnarumma is like any other goalkeeper. Some good games and some bad games, but... Yeah, overall, that team really, really enjoyed it. Um, in terms of Evos, do we have anything new for today? We do. Okay. Road to the Knockout Mystery of the Goo. I guess it's because you can get them to a half-decent card um, with, obviously, the radioactive chem style. Um, in terms of it... It is going to require max 88 rated, max 8, uh, 93 pace, max 87 passing, max 87 physical. Has to be a road to the knockout and can't obviously have a playstyle plus. So, what does that leave us with? Well, these are the cards available to it. So, Benucci going in would take him to 77 pace, 79 passing, 77 dribbling, 81 defending and 81 physical. Uh, sorry, 88 defending and 81 physical. It's all right, but not great. Acuna could be a really good one. I think this card could be actually really nice in terms of stats. His passing's really, really good. Dribbling's really nice. As a left mid on like a three back or a five back, I think he'd be really nice to use. So Acuna's a good option. Bruno Gomares is another one that I want to see what he's like, uh, if EA would let me get to him. Because I think, again, this is the this is kind of what we all expected his card to look like. Obviously, we thought, you know, he might have got through, but clearly not. The only thing I will say, I'm not a fan of how the card design looks in all honesty Kalulu's actually a really good option his passing's really good his dribbling's really good I'd actually say this is maybe one of the top center backs that we'd have Kalulu could be a good option there and then apart from that I don't really think I mean Andre Silva could be all right but again actually Andre Silva with quite a nice card he'd probably be all right because he doesn't actually have a dynamic image but because the rest of them have this shadow it just ruins it a little bit with obviously that blue in there as well it makes it quite hard to see on the radioactive card so not ideal, but I would personally say Acuna and Bruno Gamarez are going to be the main ones. But Kalulu and Silva are good ones to go with. Reina could be quite nice as well. Uh, and there might be one or two that I don't have that could be used as well. So, again, at least there's a new Evo there. In terms of SBCs, I'm kind of hoping we've got something half decent. The Dynasties player pick is here. So, we're going to check that out. Um, that is new for today. Obviously, all the upgrades are there. Been able to get through a lot of player SBCs recently because of the fodder that we've been getting. So, that's been really nice. Um, so, obviously, we're starting to make a move on... Who are we doing? Tevez. We're doing Tevez right now. So, that's decent. Sebastian Quartas getting an SBC. Absolutely love that. Obviously, excellent pool player as well. Decent card. His agility and balance is horrendous, but... It's not bad. Obviously, he has had an inform recently as well. An 85 rated is all that you need for this card. And to be honest with you, for some people, it'll just be 88 fodder straight away. For others, you might try and use it. Um, in terms of everything else, that is it for player SBC. So it looks like Quartes and the brand new Ultimate Dynasties upgrade, which I think is all right for content today. With the new Evo and all of that, obviously, you still got all the daily SBCs as well to make sure to do. I need to do them as well. Uh, Zidane does also finish in three days. So... If you do want that card, I'd probably say start it now. You'll probably get around to doing it. Uh, we'll also check out what's in the store. Probably some sort of big pack because, well, there always is, isn't there? Um, unless we've got a brand new big pack, I'm not really too bothered. I did open the Halftime Elite pack, pack I think it was. Um, bit of fodder in there, but nothing really too special. I think we've got another Donnarumma. So, overall, I'm going to call it a decent day of content. I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's actually all right. This is a one of four. 
and it is an 84 and an 85 rated team and I have a feeling we should be able to do this we can definitely do the 84 rated team the 85 rated team might be a little bit harder so uh, if we go ahead and chuck in a few 84s in amongst everything else as well obviously with the 83 times 10 upgrade this is super super easy to grind through um, just because you'll get lots of the 84s and 85s it needs so if you're missing them do the 83 times 10 upgrades and then you should eventually get everything that you need to finish this off so if we chuck in two 87s it might work in our favor yep that does work for us does an 86 work nope that is absolutely fine so two 87s an 85 and eight 84 rated that is one way that you can complete this spc uh, which we will absolutely take we won't open this pack because we want to see what we get in the play pick you guys haven't really been given the option of uh, seeing my player picks recently with the icon ones. We don't see them straight away in the video. I always put them up on YouTube Shorts or TikTok, so make sure to go follow them just in case you do miss out on anything. But you guys also deserve to see the content because you're the ones that turn up to actually see the content review. So, um, yeah, if I can review this content properly, that would be quite nice. Uh, in terms of getting rid of this, I am quite low on 84s now, so yeah. The SBCs and objectives over the next few days will hopefully replenish that for me. Uh, we'll chuck in Kyle Walker because why not? And then that is that done. So in terms of this pick, I think it's 86 plus. Yeah, 86 plus Ultimate Dynasties, Team of the Group Stage or Winter Wildcards. You've got the option of the legs of Achillean and Mbappe in here, which if you can get Achillean and Mbappe, it would be nice. We are going to get... Yeah, not so great. Uh, and for that reason, it might be worth steering clear. We're going to take an Arky Williams. Let me know down below what you guys got in your play picks. And for now, that's where we're going to leave it for today. As an Arky Williams is doing, I'm out. Peace.